now. Wiring Tech, brought to you by Painless Performance Products. American made, American proud. You know, there are some things that people like to focus on when they're working in the shop. Engines, suspensions, wheels, tires, interiors. I mean, people love to mess with that kind of stuff. But there's also some areas that people hate to mess with. And wiring is right at the top of that list because it can be time consuming and it can be tedious. And a lot of people just don't understand it. So there's a lot of misinformation out there. So what we're going to try to do today is clear all this up and go into how to make proper electrical connections. Now, when it comes to wiring, most people think of the wire, and that makes sense. It's what carries the current. But if you don't make good connections with this wire, it's going to be pretty much useless because there's not going to be any current to carry. So how you make the connections with these metal ends to that wire is extremely important. And there's two schools of thought here. Some people think you have to solder all of the ends, and soldering does give you a good, strong connection. And if you're working on circuit boards and electronics, it's mandatory. But with automotive wiring, that's not the case. Even your OEM wiring harnesses come with crimped ends. So you don't have to solder all this, but you do need to make sure that you're doing the crimping right. Take a look. A quality crimp will roll the metal and fold it back down into the wire strands for a solid, tight connection. A lot of fittings also have a secondary clamp here to go down onto the insulation and get more strength in the connection. This kind of connection requires the right crimping tool. And you're looking for one that has multiple jaws for not only different size connectors, but also different style crimps as well. And a ratcheting tool will help you keep from over crimping the fragile metal. And the non-ratcheting tool will allow you access into tighter areas. So having both on hand is nice. Here's the basic steps for a crimp. Strip the wire end and twist the wire together for a tight pack. Set the wire in the connector and the connector in the tool and crimp the wire in place. Next, move out to the secondary insulation clip and crimp that as well. Finish it up with some heat shrink tubing for a strong corrosion-free seal. For more extreme situations, there's waterproof connectors available that have the crimp and the heat shrink all sealed together. And that's really all there is to it. Your ECM connections, your wiring harness, even your spark plug wires can be crimped with this tool. And if your connections are good, your wiring will be able to do what it's supposed to.